Um, <clears throat> so this is again something I tell a lot of people. Uh, entrepreneurship is is hard. It's a lot of hard work. Um, and this yes, it's glorified. You think that you know once you get funding, you can spend loads of money on fancy offices and hire loads of people. But yes, that's when you get funding and you're in a good place. But they don't. What people don't see is all the sort of um, hard work. It's a bit like an iceberg. People see the um, the tip of it, but nothing. Most of the hard work is under the sea. Um, and they, you know, it's one of the things when I started out, um, I didn't really, or to be honest, I didn't think it was going to be that hard. Is I knew that um, I wanted to go and start something. I wanted to go and solve this problem. Um, but I was in a comfortable sort of job, decently paid. Um, very good work-life balance. Um, so, but I didn't realize how much work that needed to go in. So once I started, um, you know, started to work on it, quit my job, and started going full time, it was it was a bit like a culture shock because you know you're used to going to work nine to five and then going home. Um, you know, you then spend time on the weekends with friends and family. But you know, in the entrepreneurship, uh, in the entrepreneur's life, that does not exist. You work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, and you know, it's a very different lifestyle. You don't, you know, it took me a while to get used to it because I realized if I, you know, when I first started, I started doing, yeah, nine to five, even less because I thought now I do my own thing. I don't have to spend so much time. But then you realize you're not making so much progress in order for you to sort of get to where you want to be very quickly because, you know, you're a one man band uh, and you want to try and do the job of like four people, right? So you need to put in those extra hours. Um, so it was a culture shock, uh, yes, and work-life balance is non-existent for me right now. But I, hopefully when I get it to a stage where I can delegate to other people to do, yes, it should hopefully improve. Um, but, you know, one of the things I tell people, like, yes, you can think about, yeah, it's going to, I'm going to have to spend more time, I'm going to have to lose my work-life balance. Um, but it's like, then why are you, if you're going to be thinking about all these problems, why are you even thinking about starting a business in the first place? you're going to start a business is because you're passionate about what you're doing and you realize that you know have building something of your own is where what's going to make you happy so if that's going to make you happy go do it and just you know face the problems that come with it